bigger pockets, uh, different kind of cloth that's a little bit more lenient. There, there are some sciencey things there that we could go into. Basically, the there's a sort of a when you run your hand over a snooker cloth, it's smooth one way and rough the other. It's called the nap. Now, when you're just putting your hand along it, you, you wouldn't think it makes too much of a difference. But if you play balls slowly, they'll they'll go off. They'll uh, sort of turn themselves over and the angle can change over a long shot. So the fact that you've got that cloth and a table that is 13 feet by 6 as opposed to I don't know what size a, a general uh, pool table is these days but it's it's pretty much, I mean you can see the difference. It's I think a, gen, uh, a pool table is about four times smaller than a snooker table. Look at that little trick shot. <laughs> it's harder. Um, but and here's the main thing. Let's, let's let the statistics do their talking. Mark Selby, who has been number one in the world at snooker for a couple of years now, was quite a fan of Paul at one point. And he played and he went and showed up at a tournament and he won the world championship. Won it without, you know, without really, you know, all that much effort. He won the damn thing. He won the tournament. And the same is said for most snooker players. Most professional snooker players who do show up at pool are at the very oh, look at this, at the very least able to play and do well. It, you rarely ever hear of pool players going the other way. It's a completely different game. So yeah, right. Let's uh, let's see if we can make something happen here, shall we? I don't know if this is overly good for videos, but I thought, well, why not? If I'm going to play it, do a video. Right, here we go. See if we can put them both at the same time. Oh. <laughs> That's why I downloaded the Snooker DLC. Because I'm not very good at it. Right, okay, let's have a look at AI, shall we? Because AI is the thing in this. Basically, you've got different levels of AI. Now, we'll go on over and, and we'll look at it. The amateurs are basically lobotomized. The pros are a challenge. You've got to actually think about the game. And the Masters, it's just aimbot, basically. It's not if worse than aimbot, it's AI, proper AI, because I've not gone over the pocket. Corner him, please. No, he'll probably pot that. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> the uh, pros and the Masters seem to think uh, they are able to assess the best shot at the time and that involves like randomly hitting reds but they're gonna pot it like that that was like that no human would play that shot the human would have taken the red over the pocket and I suspect the human would have taken the red over the pocket on the first shot um, but you know it is different you're aware that you're playing a computer but it is fun all the same Ah, there we go. Right, are we able to take this black? That green will be a problem in a moment if we if we want to carry on. We are gonna, yeah, we are gonna have to take the black, aren't we? Now, where do we go? That is the question. We have the option of finding a way around here somewhere, which mm, if we can get past the, I don't think we can get past the red. We need quite a bit of power, and when you're up against the cushion like this, it ain't nice. The green is pretty much stopping everything going on. That red actually goes into the pocket, but the black, when it's put back on its spot, will screw us. Now I, you know, yeah, we'll take it. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Play the shot, see what happens. Quite a bit of backspin. Um, we may be okay. And we can't take the red now, so we've cocked it all up, in all honesty. Now, if I'd been playing for about five hours, I'd take that one. Well, the green's still here, isn't it? So let's do that. Have I gone far enough? I... Oh!
Oh, yeah, he did it. There we go. Right, this could be a big break now, actually. Oh, look where that's gone. Get the pink back on its spot in a moment and we'll be well away. Does Which way does the pink go? Pink goes into that pocket. So we want to end up on this side of it. So where we're aiming for here is we want to pot that into there and then aim around here somewhere. That gives us the option to take the pink. It goes back down here. This one now isn't here. So it will go into that pocket. Nothing goes over there. Forget about it. And then we're going to look to take... We'll start off, the blue goes in this one, so we'll look to take one of these, depending on which way we go. Alright, so that's the plan. Let's see if we can make this happen. Each went way too far. Blue still goes, though. Now, this could be quite a hard one now. This is going to be quite hard. Blue still goes, so we're okay. We, I might, may even take the pig now, because there's only so many times I'm going to be able to play this, this situation. You, there we go. Right, please leave me with one on. Can I get to this red? If I can get to this red down here, we're okay. Ah! Oh. <laughs> After all of that, I came away with a twenty-six. Uh. Such a gorgeous brown as well that I had. I had uh, <laughs> such a gorgeous brown and I balls it all up. So what's he gonna do? He's gonna get a six. He mm, it's hard to tell with these. Sometimes they miss easy, easy, easy shots, and then occasionally they knock in blinders, like they'll absolutely hammer it into that pocket. Like that is just That's the sort of shot where people would cheer. If they were watching it at a proper match. Okay, so what have we got left here? We've got there's plenty of points left. Loads of points left. Right, black is now available. So what I want to do is get down there as soon as possible. Now with these, a good bit a little bit of top spin will do. Don't want to force it in, but a little bit of spin. Sort of angle we got on the green. Not one of that's no angle. That's what that is. So it is going to have to be this this fairly weird pink. Got it. Have we been, have we got anything else though? That is the question. Oh, we have. Yeah. Oh, have we? Here we do. We're here. There we go. I'm going to see about taking this red here down here, and then should open the game up slightly. Ah, oh, too far, too far, too far indeed, sir. Still got one, though. Right, does the black go? The black goes from exactly there. We can pot that black. So if we go a bit higher up, we should be able to take the black, screw off, releases the red, break carries on. Some vans just pulling up. Oh, I'm not far enough. Can I take the pink then? No. Yes. Move it. Oh. <laughs> oh. You should know, I generally, when I play this, if I, I go for big breaks. I'm not interested in playing the computer. I go for huge breaks. So I'll break off, see what they do, and then if I'm left with an opportunity, I'll take it. If I don't have one, I'll cock it up and leave it, and then reset the game. Ah! Oh. Brilliant. So I'm just keeping an eye, because I've got a situation with my car where I'm probably going to have to move it somewhere. Because for Christmas and all the rest of it, lots of people come down. I live in a building with a lot of old folks, so it's kind of, you know. Oh, what are we left here with? What are we here with? What are we looking at, Some What ballpark? 
Let us take, I love this shot. I can actually perform this on the real table. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it all. Right, green. Too far, but we should be okay to come back for a pink or a black. Nice, simple, not too hard. Pink tis. Oh, actually. There we go. Yoink. Take the Glen de la Glen, leave a nice sharp angle. Can we pot the brown? We can. Oh, but we don't. Now we might concede it. Or it might carry on. Hey, there we go. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about. Right. Uh, let's, what are we playing now? What are we playing now? Let's go to free play a moment. Whack em. Whack em, whack em, whack em. I tell you what, the, the only criticism I have of this game, the only criticism I have, is, is, is the reason why it sort of stays a game and not a simulator is because I can't pick where the fucking balls go. Like, I can pick where the white goes, yeah? We're, we're great there. I can pick that, where the white's off, right? And in free play, okay, you can take the balls however you want. So I can just take a black and try and get onto the black again, pot the black, pot the black, pot the black. That's something you might do on a table but what I am not able to do is go okay I want five reds and a black I don't want the pink or any of the other colors I just want the five reds and a black you know that's all I want on the table I can't do that I can't even pick where they are you know I can't do any of that and I don't like that I feel like if you're gonna claim to be a sim you should be able to do that and it isn't I guess it's just pure pool but and maybe that's asking too much. I haven't even I've not looked at the the the, the um <laughs> the mods. There may be, well be mods for this game, but um I haven't found one. Now what is there? There is in fact a multiplayer game. You can go and play against the computer. Shall we see if we can find anybody? Don't know if we can. I don't know how long this game's been out. Um it could very well be the there isn't anybody there. Probably more likely to find someone for Paul. No. Okay. Uh, oh, it doesn't give me the option to. Keep searching. Go back. Right. Let's see if we can find someone for Paul. That'd be good. I want to show you the multiplayer. I don't generally do it because, like, like I said, I just it's for me to relax. I don't, you know, get involved in it. It might find somebody. There aren't many people that play it, though, I can imagine, and people that do probably play. Now, the DNAs, uh, I don't, you can actually play against what's known as the DNA. Now, the DNA. They are effectively uh, sort of an AI, which is more programmed to be like a real player. So let's have a look for a DNA. See, it's a, it's a nice break off. Unfortunately, I've seen this position a couple thousand times. Ah, I cocked it up. What have I left? Let's see if there's any difference. See what he plays. He's not got the easiest shot, though, from from behind the blue like that. It's got to be a safety in it. Yeah. Two reds at the top of the table. That'll make a safety easy. Now I've got a situation where we can get some points. There we are. Let's see if we can land on that red there, shall we? Well, it's okay. I would have preferred to have been higher, because now I've got a weird black, or a very hard black even. It might even be straight, which means I shouldn't take it. I oh, know we're okay. Hopefully I've still got the red there. If not, we've got reds up, uh, reds up along the table. I'll take the reds along the table, if I'm honest. He 
you want to you know it's all about your break building so I like to take the harder balls first in the game not in real life because I'd miss all the damn time but I like to take the slightly harder balls first so that you end up in a situation where you leave the easier ones towards the end we don't really want to be putting the pink on its spot just yet because there's, if I if the pink is there, you've blocked that one off. There are uh, less ways of breaking into the pack. What else have we got? We've literally just got that one there. If we could move that, you'd be okay. Uh, that red goes. So there's about two that we can play on realistically. Those ones too, if we could. Now let's play a nice straight ball up. Hope we go far enough. We haven't. Oh, we have. We're okay. It's not easy, though. It's not what you'd want. Ah. <laughs> Made a 30 that time. Quite often, I don't come to the table and make anything less than, like, 20-odd, 20 25. Usually, I can make a nice 50 if the balls are right. Um, occasionally, I've made centuries. You want to be able to make centuries, really. But the most imp most rewarding part of the game for me is seeing shots that you see on the telly and like playing them and just be like, oh, I fucking got, I got that one. I did it. Have we potted it? We has indeed. There's a hard red there or a hard red down there. So it's, I guess it's this one. Yeah, I like seeing the shots that you see on the telly. You know, the, the blues into the pack. So like you basically... You take the white from above the blue and smack it into the reds. I, I, I've seen the shot here. I can make the shot here. And I've actually been able to do it a couple of times on the table now, which is really enjoyable. It's nice to see improvements such as that. What I'm looking at here is to see whether or not this red goes up there. I think it does, but if it does, it ain't easy. I hit the air. It was never going to go. Might have gone. I just I can't tell if I picked the wrong angle or couldn't see it. On the on the real table, you'd be able to actually get behind that properly and see. See so what's he played here? He hasn't actually played anything, has he? He's whacked them. I like it when they whack them though, because it gives you it gives you a chance to you know pot some random balls, balls that are a bit further out. Now, I don't know if I've talked about spin a little bit. Spin in this game is is really difficult to handle. It's It changes depending on how you play a certain shot. So, I'll show you in a moment. I'm sure by now you've seen some differences, but there are some major differences. Now I can either take the pink here and try and force my way out or take a yellow which is worth much less and see if I can develop those reds. That was the shot I think. Now I'll go back for the pink or push forward for the... I'll go back for the pink. Depending on where you hit the ball depends on the spin you get. I think we, we're aware of this. What also is a big difference though is how you hit the ball. So I don't know if I ever talked about the actual game mechanics. You pull the, the cue back with your mouse and then you push it forward. And how you push it forward depends, you know, judges how the ball is struck. So if you really whack it, you're going to get the reaction as if you were to whack it. I'm not going to because I would miss this. But that gives you a lot of touch and feel ability with the game. And it's that touch and feel that I really like. You know, it, it, you can whack it or you can not. And of course, depending on how fast you hit it, uh, changes how much spin is left on. So if you want to play a really long shot, you have to you have to really strike the ball. Like if, if you look here, really low on the ball, uh, and it does pull.